with this video series, we'd like to talk about the skid steer, the track skid steer, and the mini excavator on the maintenance every day to keep the cost down and to make it more reliable for the customer. When we come out on the job, the first things we should do, look the machine over, make sure there is nothing laying around the machine. First thing we should do is go to the engine compartment. I believe that's the first thing you should start at. We should open excess, unlock the door. We should check our coolant, make sure that's right. Always up the level. We need to check our engine oil. With the engine shut off, we need that. Making sure it's up to the full mark. We'll release the radiator to open up the engine compartment. This is very crucial. What we see a lot of this is the air fillers will plug. We need to pull this out, do a good visual inspection. We strongly recommend you have two fillers. One in the truck that's clean and one for the machine. We believe it's, they, the way this machine is designed, it pulls its air up off the engine and it causes a lot of dirt. We need to make sure these things are clean on a dusty day, probably I would say on the average every three days. To get more efficient, get longer life out of the engine, we need to get this done and it's very crucial. We found that failures on the engine compartment is caused because of the air filters. They're not cleaned enough. The engine is serviced every 250 hours. We believe on certain conditions, them filters probably should be changed three times that before the oil's done. Once we've known we got the clean air filters, properly install the air filter, lock it back in. Back here we are basically, you have about three points. You got air filter, oil, and coolant. Once we've done that, we'll close it down. We can close this back up and we'll be good for the, this compartment. We'd like to start off with the final drive itself. On the new series, these are oil filled. Check for any kind of external leaks. That's very crucial for the machine. Um, you should check this, I would say on the average of 40 hours or every service. And they're supposed to be serviced at 250 hours with oil samples. Check your drive lugs. Make sure they all spin good to keep the wear down off the sprocket and most important, the track itself. When you're done looking at this, everything looks good, no large rocks caught up in here. Check your idler system. Check for any kind of uh, wear or if the wiper bars for the idlers that keeps the rocks out, um, keeps the mud down. Do a good visual, very, very important. Check your inner ones. I understand it's, it's tough to look at them, but you can look at them and just do a good visual on it. Check your bogey system in the center here. Make sure we haven't got no hunks missing out of them at large pieces. If you're in doubt, call your dealer and ask them about it. Your axle system, this is where everything oscillates from. We need to keep that greased once a week. It, I would say on the average once a week. It oscillates it, gives you a better ride. So when you're looking at all this thing, everything looks good. Your drive lines for your hydraulic system, for your hoses, take a look at them. Make sure there ain't no debris caught up in there to give it any kind of um, premature wear or anything like that, or scuffing that needs, we got to get that out of there right then. Um, your front system, your track adjuster, we need to talk about this. Make sure your jam nut's always tight. Do a good visual, make sure your bolt, your pins are still secure to make sure that this don't come out to cause a serious track failure. And while you're looking at it, check your front idlers. You've got wiper bars in here. Make sure there's no damages, no rocks caught up in there. And I would check it at least once a day, every morning or every night, depending on the conditions you're in. When we come in the, in the front end, of the machine, check your coupler system. Make sure everything is working properly. You got, on this case right here, this is a hydraulic um, quick coupler. It's all done inside the cab. 
and but when we have the manual couplers make sure your handles are free and always when you lock into an attachment make sure when you're locked in when you get back in the cab you always put pressure on the tip of the bucket to make sure that it's locked on there for your for, uh, for the safety of your co-workers and yourself that is very very important on these after we get done with the coupler we should check the hydraulic oil and that hydraulic oil should be checked twice a day once in the morning when you start and then approximately around lunchtime just to make sure that we don't have no external leaks happening unfortunately on some of these skisters it's a little tough to find the hydraulic oil on the b series they're always on the right hand side of the machine we identify when we look at a machine when we identify something it's sitting in the seat looking forward right side left side so up underneath here we got a sight gauge and that sight gauge should be halfway. Now, you're going to make oil come, when a machine's cold, oil condenses. So if you're on the bottom line, on cold mornings, you're in a good running range. Because as you start running, oil gets warm, it starts to make oil. So you're in a good shape there. Before you guys start in the morning, you should get the snow off this radiator. And when you guys start them up and they've been setting for, say, a week out there on snow removal and stuff, have the, start, to cut, start the machine up. Come around, do a visual inspection. Take a look at this. Make sure everything is working. Everything is turning, fan, you know, your fan belts, the whole nine yards. Because with this radiator block like that, it can have ice underneath there and it causes it to run warm. So we definitely need to do that. And it keeps the snow from getting in the air filters and plugging the air filters off. Very crucial. And on the fuel system, in the morning when you're doing a good visual, check this bod sediment bowl. It's a water separator. What it is, the water will set down in the bottom. There is a little pepcock on the bottom that you can screw by hand. And there's a drain hose that runs out if you would like Put a pail underneath there, and if there's any water in there, just crack it open, you'll see it drop down, then close it. Then you won't have the fuel freeze ups that a lot of customers have and cause a lot of downtime. Greasing the machine, I know certain people do it at a certain time. Winter time, we recommend it, do it after the shift while the machine is warm. It takes grease a lot better. And it's very crucial to grease these things the way they're designed, that grease is very, very important. That's where we get so much failure at right now. So that's something that we need to do. Um, check your hydraulic auxiliary circuit. Make sure we ain't got no ex um, external leaks leaking out of the machine. We need to check your electric for your attachments. Make sure this hasn't been damaged through the day. So if there is something to happen, you can make, you know, get a hold of your cat dealer to find out you know what you have to do to repair this thing when you get in the cab it's very crucial what I see a lot of is a lot of stuff laying in the cabs we find that they pile a lot of stuff on the floors and stuff it's not safe it can cause the throttle pedals to stick but just do a good visual inspection of the machine it just it's good workmanship it's respecting and it's, it's just a good way of doing business. It's very crucial that what we do and how you guys present yourself in here, it's, it's safety first. We strongly suggest that you read the operation maintenance book. Very crucial on that, gives you all your safety tips, uh, oil capacities, everything. So we strongly suggest that you, the owners and the workers read this book Spend a couple minutes, it's well worth the time. It's usually alongside of the machine or behind the seat. It will show you basically everything on this machine. This is your emissions um, uh, control warranty magazine. Very, very important. But on this operation maintenance manual, it will basically show you just about everything you need to know about this machine. It will give you your oil capacities, 
the weight of the machine, what it's capable of, your, uh, just about everything you could ever imagine. And it, this is very crucial because a lot of people don't read them and you'll be surprised on how much time and how much money it will save you on how you do things. The track skid steer, very, very important that we keep an eye on the undercarriage. Always check your track tension. We should, the correct way is to put a straight line from here to here, from idler to sprocket. Put a straight line across here with a 100 pound weight. You should have approximately one inch sag. When you know that's good in the conditions that you're in, on certain conditions when it's real muddy, we need to maybe back them off a little bit or tighten them up. Um, check your drive sprockets. All these drive sprockets should turn. They've got to turn to keep the wear off the drive lugs themselves. Check for any external leaks around your drive motors. On the older skid steers, on the B series and the A series, this was a grease final drive. The new C series, they went to an oil final drive. The older style ones, this should be maintenance every 500 hours, no questions asked. If you're doing a lot of long running, uh, snow removal, stuff like that, that should be checked before you go into the fall. And if you're doing, putting a lot of hours on them, maybe halfway through the season, recheck them again. Then do a good visual inspection on your undercarriage. Your idlers, your bogies, do a good visual on, make sure everything's tight, everything's working good. Make sure you, you know, have them look at it. Uh, if there's two operators there, one stand back, one roll it forward, one roll it back, and take a look at and make sure you haven't got nothing loose. That's the big thing. We don't need no failures when you're out there trying to work. Um, Keep it a visual on your hydraulic lines on your track motors. Very important because it is a costly um, expense for us and for the customer to get that and keep them up to shape. And your downtime, that's the big thing right now.